In my journey, I have learned that the joy of art lies in the strength of extracting happiness from everyday things and being able to share it with my community. Listening to me, you probably figured out by now that I did not grow up in York. <laughs> my name is Kayode Malomo, multimedia artist and entrepreneur. Kayode means joy, bring joy, which ties directly into my journey of happiness, hope, and healing to my community through creativity. The fourth of five children, uh, born to a theater arts professor and uh, an analyst mom, education was stressed and a key to success by trips to the theater every other night. My love for the arts blossomed as I later became a child actor on a soap opera called Tales by Moonlight, a production focused on storytelling in a typical African village setting. My love for acting also earned me my first experience as a country delegate in the Children's International Summer Village from a new country. Earlier on, I personalized artworks from for loved ones that combined pieces of fabric from my family tree and acrylic paint. The orange sellers pays tribute to my entrepreneur, the entrepreneurial spirit of my grandmothers, while joyous dance and ballerina capture grace and beauty. As I grew, I quickly found that the joy of creating to be one of the truest joys. During a period of civil unrest, I pulled all my energy together and co-founded Malonzi Art Multimedia with my brother, specializing in African art, which paid for most of my college education. From Lagos to London, London to Philadelphia, and finally Philadelphia to York, with different stops in between, I won't tell you all. Volunteering at the Salem Square Library, helping youths develop their creative abilities, gave me the joy while learning about their inspiration. During one of our sessions with my painting titled Education is Key, one of the kids said to me, I don't see youths holding books. I see books as wings that will take me to the next level in my life. I'm glad that painting is now home at the Martin Library where it can inspire both young and old about the importance of education. Later on, my exhibit at the Parliament, an exciting journey to York, supported by the Cultural Alliance, gave Lincoln Charter School students the opportunity to write about their favorite works. This has helped me to learn so many unspoken messages they were able to connect to and also inspire me. For me, the joy of art has given birth to other joys, such as joy of helping others create. Serving others has helped me to build my creative energy, optimism, and awaken the gift of gratitude. I relish the look of happiness on the faces of this young body type. Joy for me is seeing a bright smile on a young person's face as they ask thought-provoking questions and learn. In serving on the board of Creative York and participating in its hope and healing exhibit, among others, has been a delight and an opportunity to inspire creativity. The pandemic was definitely a very challenging time for a lot of us, and for, but also one that stretched me to new creative limits. I was inspired to acknowledge all frontline workers, including my sisters, with themes that captured their strength and commitment to saving lives. Inspiring figures such as Amanda Gorman, whose poem, The Hill We Climb, helped reinforce the message of hope. Beauty and elegance were also produced during these challenging times, and my African queen as well. They are a testament to the strength, hope, and resilience during those tough times. And then there is hope and peace, specifically with inspirational messages meant to brighten your day, and assure us all of a brighter tomorrow. This new work has led to new possibilities and a connection between art and wellness. And of course, how can I forget the real trail that helped me forge some great relationships? A dear friend of mine once and I once rode through the rail trail, and being a better rider, he rode ahead of me, and as we approached the tunnel, I took a picture of it, which later served as an inspiration for a painting. He would later encourage me to paint many favorite places around York, including my two sons. And this fun trip, where I derived my first inspiration, did motivate the painting of some historical treasures around York, the Central Market, the Golden Flower Tavern, and the beautiful skyline that emerges on the right hill bridge as I 
travel back and forth. Celebrating our frontline workers' strength and resilience scared me on a new path where art can bring cheer to thousands of patients, family members, and healthcare providers for years. Some staff at Penn State Health shared with me that these paintings have become a fun place for them to take pictures after challenging shifts. And I'm grateful and inspired by some most creative minds such as Mesophilia and Gusa by Victoria. Learning, listening, and sharing ideas are often a breath of fresh air. And I've been able to see a part of the road ahead. It is by standing by, on the shoulders of creative giants and surrounding myself with beautiful minds. And of course, my dad once said, life is short, but art is long. Spending time learning from and engaging with leaders of leadership work through art has been a valuable lesson for me. Whether it's a funny moment, a kind gesture, a feedback, there's always something to learn to make the best version of myself. And the biggest joy of all has been the joy of art has been given back, giving me time and energy through the art and entrepreneurship training for the next generation of leaders is my own way of giving back and paying it forward. 10 years ago, my, my alma mater at the international school, I was inspired to uh, start a scholarship. This celebrates fine art students' educational excellence in honor of my late sister, attorney Bosse Malomonije. This initiative has gone on to award 70 scholarships. And what I've learned is this. Life is like art on canvas. Focus on what is critical. Capture the most exciting moments. If things don't go as planned, Get a fresh start and give it your best. Thank you.